Recently we posted a short popping a water balloon full of corn syrup in slow motion. We got hundreds of comments asking to see balloons full of other stuff pop. So we're gonna try like all of them. So when we first did this, we used a little camera we have that can do a thousand frames per second. And that's not bad, but you know, we can go slower. Yeah, 10 times slower, that should work. To start off, a balloon full of plain water, then a balloon full of water with a little bit of soap to break the surface tension. Three, two, one. Oh, it's already so much slower than our footage. It looks awesome. Look at it go. Still balloon shaped. On the short, some people commented that the surface tension of water might help it keep its shape a little better after the balloon is removed. Let's take a look at that effect. This is just plain water. Let's see what happens when I sprinkle some pepper on it. See how most of the pepper is just on the surface? Almost none of it sunk below the water. The surface tension of the water doesn't let the pepper fall through very easily. A tiny bit of dish soap will break up that surface tension. Now watch what happens when I add the pepper. Look at that, look how much of it is falling right down through. About half of the pepper just dropped to the bottom of the water. That's because there's no longer as much surface tension and we wanna see if that effect changes what happens when we pop our balloon. Three, two, one. That looked to me like it held. Immediate reaction? It does look pretty similar, but with the side-by-side, -side, you can see some differences. The balloon on the soapy water one actually seems to peel off a little faster, and in this shot, it looked like there was a lot more water droplets splattering off. But they did both hold their rather balloon shape until they hit the plate. Uh, more testing required. Now, a balloon full of lemon-lime soda. I'm really curious to see what the carbonation does. Three, two, one. That looked exactly like water to me. I was hoping the carbonation would have more of an effect here. Oh well, still fun to try. So how you know when a tomato is ripe is when you can gently push on the skin. No, I'm just kidding, that's a water balloon full of ketchup. Gross, it does look like a tomato though. Now we begin the actual messes. It still just looks like a tomato. Not a great tomato, but three, two, one. I really like to see what the ketchup is doing in this clip because you don't think of ketchup as something that will splash like water like we see on the back of the bowl in this clip. But ketchup is a non-Newtonian fluid. The most well-known non-Newtonian fluid is cornstarch and water or oobleck. That's what's called a sheer thickening liquid. If you put it under pressure, it gets thicker and flows less. Ketchup is the opposite. It is a sheer thinning liquid. If you put sudden pressure on it, it will become less viscous and more liquid. So under the pressure of falling like this, some of the ketchup has become extra liquidy and splashes out, and it honestly looks kind of like water. Filling a balloon with honey is difficult and slow. It's filling, it is, it's just so slow. One milliliter per second. One hour later. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, that really stopped the balloon from popping as much. Now we see what happens when the balloon is really slow to pull off. Like it's popped at the beginning of this clip. It takes so long for the balloon to remove itself from the honey, which then just falls down as one almost solid blob. Running around with a bunch of water balloons is one of the best ways to work up a thirst. Fortunately, the sponsor for today's video, Circle, is one of the best in the thirst-busting game. 
Now, maybe you've heard of Circle, but you don't yet know what all the hype is about? Well, let me break down how it works. You take the reusable water bottle, fill it with water, choose the flavor cartridge of your choice, dial in exactly how much flavor you want, and drink water tailored to your flavor preference. For people that don't really like drinking plain water, but know they need to stay more hydrated, Circle is the perfect solution. Circle has got over a hundred flavors. Refreshing fruity flavors, they've got coffees and teas, they've got flavors to replenish electrolytes and to give you energy. And with Circle, you keep one of the number one benefits of water, which is zero calories, no sugar. With Circle's flavor dial, you can choose exactly how much you want in there. You want a lot of flavor? Turn the dial one way. You just in the mood for some plain water? Turn the dial the other direction. Each flavor cartridge is the equivalent of six 20 ounce bottles of flavored water, depending on your flavor settings, of course. Click the link down in the description or use the lovely QR code on the screen right now to get up to 35% off of your first purchase. Delicious. All right, the non-Newtonian fluid you were all asking for, cornstarch and water, oobleck, whatever you want to call it. This is tricky to get in a balloon. Getting powder into a balloon is not the easiest thing ever. It was very messy. And then of course you add a little bit of water, mix it up in the balloon, but like it's hard to squish in the, as soon as it starts to mix together, it gets hard to mix together because it's acting like oobleck. You can't squish it very well. Three, two, one. <laughs> I love the reaction of the cornstarch hitting the bowl because it does kind of the exact thing you're hoping to see is that it's falling, it's kind of liquid, and then right as it hits the bowl, it just bounces a little bit. It's solid enough that you see a ripple traveling back up and then it just liquefies and runs everywhere. We had a ton of comments asking to see the balloon full of molasses, so that's what we're gonna try. Three, two, one. Who's like honey? What a shock. Very similar to the honey, the molasses balloon is extremely slow to pull off of the molasses inside, and once the balloon pulls off, the thick liquid just falls down onto the plate. We had some people ask for sprinkles, so a balloon full of colorful sprinkles. An unfortunately large number of these are on my kitchen floor right now. Three, two, one. I like how they got caught by the molasses. I don't know why I was so surprised to see the sprinkles hanging in the air the way they did. For some reason, I thought they'd pop apart more. Something about the clip, they seemed to hang in the air longer than other stuff. Three, two, one. That actually did seem to be less cohesive than water. Rubbing alcohol I wanted to try because it has a very low viscosity and different surface tension properties to water. Watching it in slow-mo, it did seem like the balloon deformed it more than it does for water. By the time it reaches the sprinkles below, it barely has any balloon shape left. We did have a ton of people asking to see a balloon full of mercury, but liquid elemental mercury is crazy hard to get your hands on in big enough quantities to fill. But I'm just kidding, I got a bottle of it right here. Thanks, Cody. Oh no, it's just flowing out. I was afraid of that. It is pulling the plunger down. All right, not even plungering. It just fills it. Oh my gosh, it's stretching so much. Okay, I think that's probably about as much as it can hold. Oh, and it spilled into the tub already, good. Uh, I'm not even gonna worry with the string on this one. I'm just gonna hold it and pop it. Aluminum should not be in the box with the mercury. It does weird stuff. Lift up my balloon, weighs like a pound and a half. Huge thank you shout out to Daniel from Water Jet Channel for bringing his amazing camera to get all these awesome slow-mo shots. Thank you, Daniel. Anytime. And you say when, I will lift up and then poke it. Three, two, one. <sighs> Three, two, one. Even this amazing camera is having a hard time picking up all of the details from the shimmery mercury. The sheets that it forms as it hits the plate is so satisfying. Three, two, one. That felt good. And...
I actually wanted to try a balloon full of kinetic sand, but I wasn't sure how to get the sand into the balloon. If you've got any ideas, drop a comment below. As always, a huge thank you shout out to all of our supporters on Patreon. We could not do these videos without you. If you're interested in joining the Patreon supporters, the link for that is in the description.